Hi everybody, it's Deb Averitt with Fresh Nest Design. I'm here today, I'm gonna to get you started off on the right foot for the new year on how to design your floor plans. Erin and I get a lot of questions. How do you start designing? Where, where do you start in a room? I don't even know where to start. Well, I'm gonna tell you that today. You will notice on our website, on the right sidebar, there is a space planner download. If you click on that, it will pull up a PDF. You can just print it off and that's going to go ahead and get you started. What is in that PDF, and it's free, go ahead and, no charge, It's you can take it. Um, what's in that downloadable PDF is a space planner. And you have a piece of what looks like graph paper. And this graph paper, as you can see, each square equals a six inch square. So you can draw your room to scale. And then what also comes in that, and what I've done with the space planner is I've laminated it so I can reuse it from space to space. And then you also get a couple different room, some popular furniture in different rooms. So you have your bedroom, which has the different size beds, um, office, so you have your desk and your doors and windows, which are gonna be in just about every room. Uh, your dining room furniture, so different tables and chairs, side tables, and your living room. You've got various sizes of sofas, you've got side chairs, coffee tables, everything you'll need, even a piano. Erin is so great. Um, and everything has been drawn to scale. She's made it super easy, so if, you're, if you have furniture that's pretty well standard size, these are going to work. They're going to be perfect. Um, so basically all you have to do is print that off, grab your tape measure, measure your room, draw your little square on your piece of paper. If you don't want to laminate this, you don't have to. You, you know, you can print more and more, but I do use a dry erase marker to go ahead and draw on this. That way I can erase it and reuse it. It also helps if I have maybe a unique size piece of furniture, I can just draw that in and if I mess up, it's easy to erase it. Um, then all you need are scissors, so you can cut out your different your different pieces of furniture. And I have printed these on like a heavier cardstock, that way I can reuse them as well, but that's not necessary. Then all you do is just start messing around. Place them on your piece of paper. You can tape them once you've realized, you know, that's where I want that. I want the bed to go on this wall. Well, then you can adjust everything else accordingly. It makes it really, really easy and gives you a good start. Everything makes more sense when you start out on a 2D surface. It's easy to lay out your room and get everything going that way. So I hope you enjoy the layout. Um, we'd love to see what you guys are doing with the download. If you're using it and you love it, please let us know. If there's pieces that are missing on that download, we can see if Erin will help us. Erin, I'm volunteering you. We'll see if she'll help us and get things on that sheet. That way you have what you need to make your room pretty. So thanks for reading at Freshness Design. We hope you had a wonderful holiday and we'll see you next time. Bye.